everyone this is Amy welcome to my channel today I have a just a very fun design to do and I'm going to be using just four paint brushes now the two that I'm going to show you here they're black gold by dynasty and I forget what the name of them are it's a 206 F looks like NT brush if you've ever heard of them or seen them, but I really like them. Then I'm going to do the Fine Liner by Westonia and my Aura Brush by Lo Cornell. Paint I'm using are just four colors. Lime Green, Thicket, Apple Red, School Bus Yellow, and looks like most of them are multi-surface. One is, which is the school bus yellow, is the enamel paint. All right, so to begin, I'm going to take the smaller of the two, and I'm sorry, I got, keep getting paint all over me. This is the number four. I'm just gonna lightly dip it into the yellow, not putting a lot of, not, not putting a lot of paint on it, just tapping it in there, going like that. I'll keep adding paint as I go. So I'm basically just going to, I can start out with maybe a thicker one for the center if I want, and then just go around it and make circles. And it doesn't care, it doesn't matter if you get some that are fuller or some that are more open. Either way, it's fine. So I'm just gonna sporadically push these out I don't want too much paint because I really want them just to show the show this this hole, you know, with the opening in the center as much as possible. Right now I'm kind of just tapping it in to get the center, but I can go like this. Again, try not to put too much paint in. But you just go around and just tap. And I just wash this brush out, so it would probably behave better if it if I had not just done that. Oh any anyway, so I'm just gonna come back here, kind of tap in the center, and I could you could actually do the center if you want with a end of your brush, however you want to do it. But I'm just going to come in here and just keep tapping. And just make a floral design. You know, just kind of make it random. And you don't have to have a real center as far as, uh, you know, a set dot or where you're dotting it at. What I might do, because it's, it's behaving a little bit differently on the glass, is probably just tap in a center with the, you know, a circle or dot with the end of a brush. Just to give it a more distinctive. Or you can pat it in, which like I said, I'm trying not to get too much paint on my brush. Because then that just gives it a different look. I'll do one more. I like my odd numbers. As many of you who who follow me know. So I say my paintings are just meant to be very fun, easy for anybody that wants to begin to paint that you can feel like you're you're able to be successful at it. If you want to go back in and, and make some of your holes or your circles, whatever you want to call them, darker, feel free to do so. That's up to you. But again, just very light pressure. Very simple. And this is what I mean. I don't have a big brush, but I can tip the bottom into into 
a brush and just kind of tap in the center if you want. Or you can use a dotting stylus or a clay ball maker and tap in a real center if you want. Or you can make it a different color too. If you wanted to add a little bit of the other color that I'm using to it, you can do that as well. All right, so here we go. Again, this probably would work better if I hadn't just washed them out, but I'm going to go ahead and go into my lipstick red. And just to do a few larger ones. I'm just making them fun. Now, will this be a real durable design? Maybe not because it's kind of thin, but that's okay. It doesn't have to be. It's on a bottle. You're going to be sitting at some place. So, I'm going to tap in the center a little bit heavier. Again, I'm just trying to you can even go back over it, just kind of overlap a little bit. So it's just not all individual circles. I like that. And then I'm gonna do one down in here, I think down at the bottom. They can overlap a little bit. You know, I like to overlap a lot of times because if you were making a real floor arrangement, that's how it would go. All right, go ahead and find my center here. And then I think what I will do is just take one of the brushes. I really want to do one that I'm not going to be using again, just for the mere fact that I'm going to get it all over me. But I can go ahead and do, you just tap in a bigger center. Clay ball makers would be good for this if you're doing a bigger flower. And I'll just figure out where my center is here. like that and then the next thing I'm going to do is take my liner and go into the greens just pull it out go into the greens just like I normally do and come here and start doing my little stems when I started doing this because I was just trying to find some different brushes to do little designs with because I feel like you know I want to vary it some give you some other ideas and I thought oh I found these what kind of a leaf am I going to do because I didn't want to do the traditional but I figured it out and you'll see here in a minute something you've already seen me do before and I'm just going to act like these are all well you know what I'm going to put this one coming around like that because I don't have to have a stem directly coming out from them, but I'm going to make it look like they do for the most part. And then you know how I like to pull my little extras. Now I'll just pull one down like that. Maybe pull one up this way. And it's pretty easy. And if you feel like you want to go back over it again and make it a little thicker, feel free to do so. I kind of like to go back over my stones a lot of times just to make sure it just kind of blends in. There you have it. Next thing I'm going to do is get this brush, the Aura brush. Tap it into my colors, my greens. Again, I don't want it to have too much paint on it because I like the opening that it creates. And I'm just going to come here up like that. Got a little red on the first one, that's fine. You're going to have that if you are doing wet on wet. Expect it. 
And I think because of the type of design I'm doing here, this brush is perfect for it. And you're just going to go and just tap in where you feel like you need it. Like that. Tap, tap, tap. Awesome. And I'm just going to come down this one. I can come back in too after I'm done doing it. Just tap in some more color to it if I want. And there you have it. Pretty darn easy. Now, like I said, for the centers, if you wanted to do something to maybe distinguish them more, I've thought about with the yellow, I could come in here. Now, oh, that didn't come off very well. That was like a yuck. I just kind of tap in with this brush itself with a little bit of color on the center or on the brush and tap into the center is what I'm trying to say or just leave it but for those of you that maybe didn't like the just leaving it alone you know I get it sometimes that's not the most distinguished and favorite way to do it Or you could use my Dare Fit Stippler, whatever you want, just to distinguish the centers a little more. Or put some more actual dots on them. Up to you. Just to give you some different ideas of things to do. Alright, I hope you like this video. Quick and easy. If you do, give me a big thumbs up. New to my channel, please subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Before leaving, please share this on your social network with all your family and friends i would greatly appreciate it just hit that share button you'll find underneath the video and you'll be good to go all right until the next